Kuru bushfire has shown the resilience and giving nature of our community. It's been one of the most devastating bushfires in recent years and we've seen firsthand the community spirit and desire to not only start the healing process, but once again thrive. We've set up our temporary recovery depot in Gidjiganup to ensure that we're there to support affected property owners and progress the repair and restoration effort as safely and quickly as possible. We've also attended community meetings to provide in-person support. To the people who have lost homes, businesses or been displaced from the bushfires, we're thinking of you and thank you for your perseverance during this time. While the bushfires have subsided, the job is far from over for us. Around 600 assets, including poles and transformers, and more than 40 kilometres of power lines were damaged or destroyed in the blaze. We're balancing the need to restore power quickly with the opportunity to improve the network, such as the addition of standalone power systems on some properties. In Western Power's history, this is one of the worst bushfire disasters to affect our network. We postponed some scheduled maintenance and diverted more crews to the bushfire grounds to support reconstruction efforts. We're well into the rebuild and we expect to be completed by the end of February. As we progress, we're connecting customers in areas where work has been completed. Our WA electrical inspectors continue to check every home before it's reconnected to ensure your safety. So once again, thank you to the people of the Warraloo area for your support and patience, including the local businesses who have been providing important supplies to our temporary depot. We're nearly there. We're proud to stand alongside you, as well as DFES and other emergency and support services, to support you and move forward from this devastating event. You can visit our website for ongoing updates on the repair and rebuild status. Thank you and stay safe.